GG, GG. GG, bro. GG. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I have an intense game for my grind to masters without a Mozambique hammer point. This game went to sudden death and especially at the end it was very tense and we carried our squad to the win. I will do my usual commentary over it, explaining my thought process and what I did right and wrong. The grind is going well, at the moment I'm 250 AP away from hitting masters, so stay tuned for the next gameplay and compilations. Also, if you enjoy the gameplay, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Alright, let's start. I just want to mention the first four rounds I will not show because they were very uneventful. And I want to show you guys uh, the better parts of uh, my grind to masters for your entertainment. This is a good sky night spot. Fortunately it doesn't connect, but uh, yeah, it usually does, more often than not. And I try to get a good angle here, but I get uh, yeah, three people looking at me, so I need to reposition immediately. Try to help my uh, raid teammate, he got cracked, and the enemy team decides to instantly put the pressure on us. It's a good play on their part, and uh, we unfortunately can't counter it, we get out angles from the back too. I don't have time to heal. I do win my one, but unfortunately I am literally one HP. Did you knock one? No, I break two. So at this point it's a 2v1. I do crack the fell, but I get out angled and die. Come on guys. Moving up to the sixth round. Here I take my jump pad to take a weird angle that they won't expect. And uh, at this point I'm just hoping to get a lot of damage in uh, because I'm at the part that uh, they will never expect. Start off with some Sky Knights. They hit for a uh, nice 100 on the Octane and wait. almost finish him off. And AD on another, uh, another enemy. I'm here just looking for big damage from a weird angle. Fortunately the enemy was pushing up, I didn't expect that and I got hit for big damage and almost die here because uh, I walked in the eyesight of another enemy. Should just have stayed at the bin there to uh, heal up because they couldn't push me anyways. I'm on my way to you guys. And I just go back to try to uh, cover and help my teammates and make sure they don't die to finish this round. Cracked, cracked. Alright, moving up to the tiebreaker round, round number 7. Here I told my teammates to uh, go to the left side and hold the angles there and not to push. And I would hold the right side. And uh, I hoped with my angles that I would take that I get big damage in, get a knock and uh, finish the fight like that. And uh, prevent my teammates from getting knocked. Fortunately, the sky there didn't connect, but I get some pretty decent shots in hold there. Hold left side, hold it. I'm just making sure that I keep holding the left side. And uh, I'm just fine behind here, behind this piece of cover, holding the right side. They can't push in and uh, they can't uh, shoot my teammates from different angles. I raid decided to stay at bin, and it was actually uh, really nice because I had three shots on the fall, could knock her, and now it's uh, a 3v2 for us. And okay, we, after getting some really nice damage in on the Octane, I can just push up. We can uh, 3v2 the last guys. Fortunately, Raid got knocked, but yeah, it's still a 2v1. And here I can uh, finish off the last guy for the round. GG. GG. So now round number 8. This is a match point for us. I told my team to uh, maintain the same strategy from before, so they would uh, together hold the right side and I could hold the left side, preventing uh, from getting out angled by the enemy team. And I uh, start to hit some Sky Knights and get some big damage in. 150 on uh, Octane. Decide to pet on them. Never mind, don't push. All the enemies were still okay, there, okay. so yeah, I had to disengage. I can just jump in and uh, in that bloodhound, but it's still full. So uh, unfortunately, I couldn't finish off the octane. Hold right side, right? 
I got my teammate that. just to hold right side. But I think my teammate Raid decided to push in there. That was really unfortunate. Because we're doing major damage on the enemy team. And uh, she got uh, pushed by, or well, she pushed into people and died here. I really didn't know uh, what to do here. The Bloodhound was holding a great angle on me. Uh, I probably just should have gone to the Rumper. And I tried to 2v1 someone there. But yeah, I hold this angle trying to not let them push in. Um, uh, I was probably not a play, That's not the best play I could have made. Even though it's a difficult situation to deal with. You can hear that uh, two people are pushing me right now. So I disengage, go back to Rampart. We have two at front and one on the right now. Try to challenge the guy on the right. And here I make a stupid play to climb up. So try to get some damage in because the Bloodhound was still there and I got uh, double teamed. And here I'm one and uh, Rampart is one, so that's a G this round. Can't win anymore. Alright, moving up to the final round, sudden death. At uh, this point in time, I'm kind of on a bad luck streak when it comes to sudden death rounds. I tend to lose them more than I win them. So I would love uh, to hear in the comment section uh, how you guys approach them to uh, be successful. Right. Okay. Usually I have the problem that uh, one of my teammates just got knocked before I can uh, do something. Or I'm able to get a knock myself. At this point I'm just trying to cover all the angles and I try to sky nade that guy but at this uh, piece of cover you can nade that spot so uh, yeah, you need to stand a little bit more closer. Make it there. Heal! Rampart was still challenging while she was cracked so I really wanted her to heal. You so just can't afford her to get knocked. You will get Come pushed right. die. Try to make a quick play before zone closes. We don't have zone, we don't have zone. We need to go left. Come back, uh, Ruth. Come, 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 come. And I tell my team to reposition so we can take zone together and try to get my squad together because uh, I don't want us to get split uh, while we need to rotate in. I need to heal. And I always tell my teammates uh, that I need to heal us at points like this so they don't push in with me uh, taking a battery. At this point I'm just holding a head glitch and try to get as much damage in as I can. And uh, try to get the most advantageous spot and force them to low ground. As you can see two enemies are now on low ground, they can't push up the hill anymore. So uh, my thought process was to hold this side as long as possible until zone closes. They will be pushed out of cover and we can maintain height for a while to get great shots in. But as you can see on the minimap, the Raid decides to push in from low ground uh, into two people. And she dies for it. No, oh, bro! Why push? And I was kind of frustrated about it because uh, it's a 2v3, it's hard to win in sudden death. But luckily we uh, knocked the Octane there, so it's a 2v2. Fox tra tries to solo push us. And uh, Rampart knocks the Fog. Some good shots in on the boys, on the bloodhound, and we win the game. So this was the game from today's play session. I really hope you enjoyed it, and uh, make sure to have a great rest of your day. And I see you next time. Cheers.